hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for always coming out here may god bless you all nam the kanu the ipop leader is winning big nigerian court declines to entertain further charges against ipop leader nam the kanu pending supreme court's ruling on bail justice binta inyako said the court lacks the jurisdiction to entertain any further charge against Kano in view of the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which was in favor of Namdi Kano. I think with this now, AGF Malami should be ashamed of himself. Yes, he's disgracing Nigeria. We are now a laughing stock. What exactly is he looking for? Somebody who said he's part of the law, he's the law himself, does not even know how to interpret a simple law. Look at the way he's disgracing Nigeria up and down, honestly. Is really very unfortunate. The Federal High Court in Abuja has refused to entertain any further charge against the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Nandekano, pending the Supreme Court's ruling on his bill. Justice Binta Inyakro said the court lacks the jurisdiction to entertain any further charge against Kano in view of the judgment of the Court of Appeal which was in favor of Namde Kano. This was, was stated in a, a statement made available to Sahara reporters on Monday by IPOB's lead counsel, Sir Ifani Ejefo Esquire. He noted that the court ruled that it lacks jurisdiction to continue to sit on Kano's case because of his earlier judgment on his bail. The statement reads, the court Per his leadership, Honorable Justice Binta Inyako is in agreement with us that it lacks the jurisdiction to entertain any further charge against Onyendo Mazi Inamdekano in view of the landmark judgment of the Court of Appeal. The matter was consequently adjoined. Sine died pending the outcome of the appeal of the Supreme Court. We are winning. Supreme Court, here we come. No going back on Onyendo's freedom. Our, our appeal to, sit as, to set aside the order, saying the execution of Onyendo's judgment will be fixed for hearing any moment from now. Sahara reporters had reported how the appeal court ruled in October that rendition of Namdi Kanu from Kenya was illegal and therefore order that the, they should, the federal government of Nigeria should let him go. He should be discharged and acquitted. The court was ruling in the appeal filed by Kano, challenging the criminal charges against him. Kano had been rearranged before a federal high court on amended 15 count bordering on treasonable felony preferred against him by the Nigerian government. However, on April 18th, Justice Binta Inyako struck out eight of the 15 counts, while ruling on the preliminary objection seeking to quash the charges. The judge said count 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 14 had not disclosed any offense against defendant Namde Kano. The charges that were struck out below are as follows. Count 6. Namdekanu made brokers to attack officers of the Nigerian police force. Count 7. He made brokers in which he incited members of the public to hunt and attack officers of the Nigerian police force. Count 8. He made brokers in which he directed members of the IPOP to manufacture bombs. Count 6. Count 9. He made brokers on this device states in furtherance of terrorism against the Nigerian state and with intent to destabilize the fundamental political and economic structures of Nigeria, incited members of the public to stop the Anambra governorship election. Count 10, incited members of the public to destroy public facilities. Count 11, jointing members of the public not to come out on 13th May 2021. Count 12, he made brokers to 
with the intention to incite members of the public to stage a violent revolution in furtherance of art of terrorism. Count 14 directed members of the public to destroy the public trans transport system in Lagos, resulting in major economic loss to the governor. Inyako has said that counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 15 showed some allegations which the defendant had to answer. However, Kanu, through his team of lawyers led by Michael Zeko Mersan, filed an appeal marked CA slash ABJ slash CR slash 625 slash 2022, praying the courts to quash the remaining seven counts for being devoid of merit. The appeal court equally prayed the court to order his release on bail pending the determination of his appeal. <laughs> uh, Malami should forget about this Namekanu's case because he's just wasting his time. Nigeria waiting for international disgrace by UN by 2023. The zone must submit to Biafra. Somebody that was released on bay to go to medical checkup only for him to run to Kenya. Yet, this court did not see anything wrong with what he did. That is what happens when you handed the hope of the common man court to separatists. I know now I see reasons without that. Why Shaori said that the Nigerian constitution is a business document to favor some set of people. In this country and not for everybody and it should be changed now i see it they have no jurisdiction to continue the trial of the the federal high court since the case is before the supreme court which is the appeals court okay guys these are some reactions by nigerians but the truth is that the nigerian government do not have case against the ipob leader i'm dropping it here. kindly share your thoughts below the comment section Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for always listening. Bye.